Since 2002, CABI has been working with the European and Chinese partners in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, to address food security challenges and improve agricultural livelihoods. Agriculture is of crucial importance to the economy of DPRK. It involves around half of the population and makes up an estimated 25% of the country's gross national product. Despite significant efforts, production has remained low due to a number of factors, including soil degradation and losses to pest damage. Maize is planted on around 500,000 hectares, almost 20% of arable land, and is the most important staple crop after rice. Maize fields suffer significant damage from Asian corn borer, an insect pest that tunnels inside the stems and into the maize cobs. Losses are usually around 10 to 30%, but can rise to 80%. Farms in DPRK have limited options for tackling this key pest, as reliable control methods aren't available. CABI worked with DPRK stakeholders to develop a sustainable solution for Asian corn borer to reduce associated toxin buildup and increase maize yields to improve national food security. The jointly developed Integrated Pest Management IPM approach to maize involved several pillars. These included intercropping maize with beans, using resistant varieties, crop rotation, and most importantly, using locally produced biological control agents. The biological control element was based on the use of a tiny parasitic wasp called Trichogramma, which lays its own eggs inside the eggs of the Asian corn borer. Developing Trichogramma larvae feed on and kill the Asian corn borer egg content. This means that the pest is killed before damage is caused. Moreover, the new wasps emerging from host eggs are then ready to parasitize even more Asian corn borer eggs, further improving the impact of trichogramma applications in maize. A commercially used trichogramma rearing system from China was introduced and experimental facilities set up at the Plant Protection Institute in Pyongyang. This allowed local researchers to gain practical experience of producing the parasitic wasps. Initial upscaling of trichogramma production was jointly funded by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation and EuropeAid, with eight facilities being established. Further upscaling the number and coverage of rearing facilities at county level was the focus of the next EuropeAid-funded phase, with 16 facilities established in the major maize growing areas. As a direct result of the project, 70 cooperative farms started implementing IPM in maize, resulting in a 10% yield increase and a surplus of 0.55 tonnes of maize grain per hectare each year. The Ministry of Agriculture estimates that more than 100 facilities are now actively producing trichogramma nationally, covering all major maize growing regions, leading to an annual increase in maize production of over 38,000 tonnes on 70,000 hectares. The success of the project could not have been achieved without background support provided by Ministry of Agriculture representatives and technical knowledge supplied by scientists from Pyongyang. Policy workshops with the Ministry of Agriculture to develop national IPM guidelines led to maize IPM being set as a high priority area by the government. As a result of the CABI-led projects, plant protection has become formally recognised in DPRK as a major factor influencing crop production. This was marked in 2012 with the creation of the Department of Plant Protection, dedicated to crop health. Following the maize project, the trichogramma technology has been further developed by national institutions for use in other crops, such as rice, apples, and even for forest management. IPM concepts and knowledge, including the trichogramma technology, have become anchored in DPRK's institutions as a result of the project. The development and adoption of an IPM curriculum at the Kim Il-sung Pyongyang Agricultural University ensures future leaders in the agricultural sector understand sustainable agriculture and biological control.